Winter weather delayed the start of the Holiday Lights Festival by a couple days, but now downtown is a glow. Just look at it, and we're on track for this weekend's Wells Fargo Family Festival. Go to one place or two or even all six participating venues. Love downtown this time of year. Here with the scoop, Heather Kudron. Good to see you, Heather. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, so everything's lit up down there. A couple days late, but it's all it's all cranked up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well tell us a little bit in a nutshell, what is the Wells Fargo family festival part of this? Well, it's very ac actually very special this year. We're celebrating our 10th year of being able to put on the family festival. Mm -hmm. And so obviously for me and 200 of our volunteers, we're very excited and very prideful that we can do this again for the Omaha community. Not everyone may be familiar with this event. Right. When is it, where is it, and what do people need to do to get involved? All right, so it is downtown Omaha, six venues, as you talked about. Wow. Um, you can get involved by um, providing your support. We're, again, partnering with ConAgra this year and shining the light on hunger. So bringing your canned goods to any of the six venues, as well as any of the Wells Fargo stores in Omaha here. It is Sunday from noon until 5, so the whole afternoon gives you plenty of time to get to all six venues. Um, and we also pr provide the free transportation. So um, start at any one of the six venues, park, and hop on Ollie the trolley to take you around. No worries about traffic or parking at all. The trolley is a wonderful idea because you park once mm -hmm. and then you get transported to each location. You want to break down each of these uh, six locations for us? Absolutely. So we have the Wells Fargo location on 20th and Douglas, the Durham, the Jocelyn, the Children's Museum. We also have the Horse Barn. Um, so, and the library. I don't mm -hmm. want to forget the library. So a lot of different venues and again, all for free. Yeah. So no admission whatsoever. We talked to the library the other day about the festival. Um, sure. They're ready to go for this. Um, what should visitors expect at each different venue because there's a little bit of something different at each place. Absolutely. So there's not enough time to cover everything. So I would encourage you to go out to the we website, mm -hmm. holidaylightsfestival.org. Um, however, some popular ones at the horse barn, stagecoach mm -hmm. rides, mm -hmm. yeah. of course. Right. At the library, face painting, uh, cookie decorating. At the Durham, of course, the largest indoor Christmas tree. So mm -hmm. check that out. The Jocelyn, we have a ma ma uh, magician from 1230 to 330 every single hour. So just a ton of different activities for kids and families throughout the entire afternoon on Sunday. You mentioned it's a milestone year. Obviously this couldn't happen without all the volunteers. What's fun about being a part of this event and seeing the families that are actually coming through and taking advantage? I think what's really special is, you know, not only the milestone as you said, but you know, being able to be a part of this, I've been with Wells Fargo for 12 years, so being able to have participated after, you know, several of those years, you see and talk to a lot of people who make this their holiday tradition. And this is really their way of starting out their holiday season, and it's so special to us to be able to offer that to the Omaha community. Yeah, cost? Zero. Zero. Free. It, selfishly, I'm thinking about um, how, to, how to navigate this thing this mm -hmm. weekend, because right. I'm going to take the kids down there, but where's the best place to park? Um, have, have you strategized that? Are there certain locations that are better than others to park at? Insider tips. He wants insider yeah, tips. Yeah, I know. Give me the inside scoop. Well, the, the Wells Fargo downtown location has a great parking lot right to the west of it. Mm -hmm. um, Ollie the trolley, of course, will be there like many others. But I know a lot of people like to start at the horse barn, too. So right. essentially, they're all very close in proximity. Um, try to strategize with the, the number of people in the traffic, I guess. Um, but that's a good option. Have we? Go ahead, I'm sorry, Kayla. How crowded does it get? Because I think the temperatures are looking pretty mild yes. this weekend, and yes. that might be a factor. Obviously, over the past several years, it's gone up and down and up and down. Does that really affect the number of families you see taking part? Absolutely does. It's actually, um, you know, you never know what to expect for sure, but with the milder temperatures, of course, we do expect, you know, more traffic, uh, especially in our downtown location. We see people from wall to wall. It's amazing, but there's plenty of room for everyone to come and enjoy. We're taking a look at the venue awesome. locations right now. Also connected to the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. Want to reiterate that. How does that part work? Um, bring your canned goods. Again, any of the six venues. Um, if you're a Wells, Car Wells Fargo customer, you've already seen the blue bins in every store in Omaha, so you can even participate if you can't go on Sunday as well. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Absolutely. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, have a good <laughs> weekend. You. All right, more